Yes, yes, Massive Room Crew, back once again with another video. It's your boy Busy B Science, back once again. And today we're going to talk about room acoustics and the importance of room acoustics on your mix. Um, it's very, very important that you do some sort of sound treatment in your room, unless you're using headphones. And you can mix on headphones, don't get me wrong. Uh, but what there's a big problem that a lot of people face and they don't realize uh, about room acoustics until you get your mix and you play it on someone else's sound system or a club when you get it and you play it on the club uh, it sounds completely different to how it sounds in your home environment now there's a few things that could be uh that could cause problems uh and i would say that the first thing is room acoustics if you're if you've got a pair of nice pair of studio monitors and you've got a nice studio amplifier as well um the most important thing first of first and foremost is to mix your track on some uh, sound device uh, that you know the sound of the room you know the sound of the speakers so mix it on your favorite speakers that you had for, from day dot right and that's fair enough but um, that's the first call but the second call is the room acoustics now um, it's very important that you do some sort of sound treatment on your room because what happens is you've got stuff in your room that does uh, you've got uh, two things you've got reverb reverbation uh the reverb in the room can cause echoes echoes um from the speakers um would then bounce off the walls and they come back to your ears and they cancel sound so in your your room might be making your mixes sound more bass heavy than they are which means that you're going to mix with not enough bass in your mix or it might be the opposite it might your room might have make things sound more trebly and it makes you turn the bass up higher in your mixes. So when you when you hear it in your in your at, at home, your mix is pumping and sounding nice. And then you take it, you get it to a club, it sounds muddy and low. So these are things that you have to take into consideration. And the first thing you can do uh, is buy yourself some because uh, there's two there's two types of things, right? You've got soundproof, and you've got you've got soundproofing, which is uh, where you don't want the sound to escape out of the room and that's all good but sound having a good soundproof studio is not going to take care of your acoustics and it's still going to give you like a bad mix you could be sitting in your studio and it can sound absolutely amazing right but then when you get to take it out and it sounds really bad it's because your room acoustics and, and the sound bouncing all around is not telling you a true monitor uh, of sound so room treatment is more important than soundproofing obviously with soundproofing you just don't want your neighbors to hear it or people to be disturbed while you're making your tunes but nowadays you've got a sub pack you've got a bass chair you've got headphones on billing tunes till two in the morning nobody even knows you're rumbling and i've done a lot of mixes and messed about with it on there but say for you guys who like to use monitors i've got a pair of monitors here i use krk rocket fives i've got krk rocket eights i've got uh tannoy uh little the little tannoys i love the little tannoys i use them all the time but the first thing we do is we treat the room so online you can get um what they called sound tiles studio acoustic tiles my bad so acoustic tiles and nowadays you can pick up deals on acoustic tiles look at this 48 acoustic wall tiles now there's these to do these will do two things they insulate the room for starters in the cold days right but these are great because you can fix these to your walls right and as you see in the background there look they got the acoustic sound tiles there right and you can look look into it we, without going into in depth putting you in the right direction i would say you you put that on your walls yeah you can either go for the whole studio if you want you can also get um acoustic canvases where you get you get like wall canvases and they are they're, they're for acoustics they do make uh, fancy ones i don't know these have got acoustic guitars but you do your homework they're, they're out there somewhere you can get them they, so if you don't really want to cover a whole entire room with this stuff and i'm telling you when you cover the room with this stuff it's going to make a hell of a difference to the way things sound you, it will deaden the room that's what they call it you deaden the room and then basically what that does is it stops that will absorb the sounds in the wall 
and stop it bouncing back to you because you don't want reflections coming from all angles when you're trying to mix a track down. There's another thing as well where you have to set your monitors symmetrically to your ears. There's a there's a theory behind it where you have to sit triangular to your monitors. So there's a place called the sweet spot and where your the where where the the, the middle cone is supposed to be uh the same distance away from where you sit in the chair. So for example, the left speaker and the right speaker are the same distance apart and you're sitting, say for example, let's just say if your speakers are over here and your, your main monitors are sitting uh, a meter apart each side, yeah? And then you're sitting a meter in front of it, in the middle of the two, the sweet spot, your ears should be at the level where the speakers are, right? Now, there's another trick you can do if you don't want to cover your whole entire room with sound, um, acoustic sound tiles, apparently there's a point where your monitor is, when it's facing you, there's a point on the wall where the right speaker will bounce on the left wall, reflect back to you, and the left speaker will bounce on the right wall, and it will bounce back to you. And it's at that point where you can put an acoustic sound tile. And the way you do that is you set yourself up in the middle of the room, right? And I've seen this, there's a video online of, it's an old time video of a guy who goes sorts out people's uh, studios. I'll put a link in the description where you, where you can do that and it'll make a hell of a difference. And basically you would get someone with a mirror and you sit back in your chair like this and you, you, you've got two, you've got your monitors aiming at, uh, angled towards you, your sweet spot, yeah? And you've, what, what the person would do is stand on the left wall, yeah? Because you've got to also, it's also important as well in your room to select a, a symmetrical area where you are actually monitoring your music from uh because the room if the rooms are all different shapes it can cause acoustic problems as well so it's better like to have a square room or a rectangular room yeah and what you do on the left wall your friend uh, uh, your mate would get a mirror yeah and you basically look at the mirror like this yeah and he would move this this the mirror uh back until you see the middle cone on the left on the right speaker and that's the point where you put the acoustic tile. And the same for the other side, maybe three or four. That's why when you go into studios and you see like, you know, they've only got a few of these on the wall, like three, four, five. It's because the acoustic engineers have gone round and they've found all the reflection points of the room. Also as well, you can get acoustic bass traps. Acoustic bass traps, again, stop the bass from traveling all around the room. You stick these in the corners of your room, right? Um, there's also software that uh, you can put the dimensions of your room in and uh, it will tell you the best places to put your speakers, which is really good for monitoring and stuff. But you put, a, you need four of these bass tracks, one on each corner. I've got one in each corner in this room. Not that I pump the music up, but I have treated it in there and it does help me with my mixing and my mixes. Um, guys, comment down below if you're enjoying this content. If you want to see some more videos about mixing, uh, studio equipment, etc., I'll be glad to upload. It's 11 o'clock at night, guys, now. I'm going to get some skip, come back in the morning, start rolling out some more videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, check out my Patreon. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a video series. I've got a video course coming up for absolute beginners that want to get into making music. So look out for that, guys. Smash the like button. Comment down below if you're interested in that. And I will, um, I'll, I'll forward you to that course uh, in due time. Uh, that's it for today's video. Take care. God bless. Peace.